Hello and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. And in today's video, I'm going to be carrying on with the uh, Chris Craft Corvette conversion. Now, in the last video, I was working on this upper superstructure and got that fastened on. Had to be modified uh, to make it look a little bit lower. And in today's video, which is only a short one, I'm going to put the electrical setup in it. I'm going to start by wiring this motor up and it comes with these things. These are radio interference suppressors, capacitors, I think. And the only instructions that you get is this rubbish, grainy photograph and that wiring diagram. So I wasn't quite sure exactly how to do that. But I found this other picture on the uh, internet after a bit of trawling around and that makes it a lot clearer. So I think I know now how to fasten these on. Now that's just a dry fit, but I think I've got it right. So I'm just going to solder all that together. Well, I think I've got that right. Right, the motor's in. Right, next I'm just going to fit the prop shaft and I'm going to pack it with this inox grease first. I just kept doing that until a blob of grease came out the end, so now the, the tube is packed. Just put the coupler on. I'm just going to spray that coupling with a bit of uh, silicon lubricant. There it is, motor, prop shaft and propeller all on. So next up, I'm going to put this speed controller in, just connect it up to the motor. Now the first thing I'm going to do with this is change this connector to uh, one that will fit the batteries that I already have. Dead easy, this job. Uh, if you've done any work with planes, you'd be familiar with changing these connectors on batteries and controllers. So just going to put a bit of solder on these wires to start with and then fill these holes with solder. Don't forget to put some heat shrink tubing over the wires to cover the contacts up. And then we can connect them up. Lovely. There we are. Now I'm going to use a very simple radio setup in this boat. This is a receiver that I had lying around in my spare box. I've got a couple of these already in uh, two different cars, a Land Rover and a Jeep. And uh, this will just pair to the transmitter that I've got. So that should do the trick, I hope. And this is the rudder servo that I'm going to use. And typical, it won't fit in the hole. So I'm going to have to enlarge that. Right, I can get this in. After a bit of cutting and filing. Next in, it's the rudder. So I'm just going to put some grease down there and then fasten this on. And now I've got to connect up the servo arm to the rudder tiller. I'm going to use this piano wire, the wire that came with the kit, too thick. So I'm going to put a Z bend in one half. Now the other end has got a right angle bend and a retaining clip. Well, I've got the electrical setup done motor at the front, speed controller and receiver tucked away under here. Wires just nicely coming down there. And then the rear servo and rudder. And it all works.
Well, there we have it. Uh, propeller and rudder in and the full electrical and electronic installation. And it all works. What a bonus. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to have a go at uh, modifying the roof of this section to make it look more like a Chris Craft Corvette. But for now, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.